It is the golden age of exploration. Solar-powered lightships ply the ethereum of deep space, bringing colonists and trade to every corner of the galaxy. But even a golden age has its dangers. Some natural, and some decidedly less so. Where there are traders, there are also pirates, always ready to prey on the unwary. Within the Empire, such crimes do not go unpunished. Those who would disturb the peace must face the Royal Navy. The Queen's Royal Lightships have protected the Empire for over two centuries. Whether fighting pirates or Procyon invaders, the Navy has always been victorious. Until now. Just as the Empire and the Procyons are on the verge of peace, a new menace has appeared on the frontier. A menace that cloaks itself in mystery and leaves no clue except destruction. A menace that may be too powerful for anyone to defeat. Personal log, Jim Hawkins, Ensign. Entry number 57. I hate final exams. I wasn't this nervous when pirates were chasing us all over Treasure Planet. I shouldn't be this tense at all. I mean, it's only my entire naval career hanging on how well my crew and I do during this graduation exercise. I've been assigned the command of a Stinger-class torpedo boat. A sweet little craft, fast and maneuverable. But still... That's a lot more than the Solar Surfer I'm used to. Now if I can only keep my voice from shaking when I give commands, I should be in business. Here's hoping I manage to get us through the final exam without making any mistakes. this morning. For those of you coming from other training academies, I am Admiral Amelia, and it is my job to usher you into full service with this final series of exercises. All vessels are to use dummy loads in their weapons and to pay strict attention to my commands. Now, you may have noticed the three fast frigates from Her Majesty's 30-second strike flotilla. These distinguished ships have volunteered to be your targets for the first scenario. You students will set a course to bring your flotilla to the west of the Montressa archipelago. Swing south below the archipelago, then attack the frigates by cutting through the small islands to engage them on the other side. This exercise will test how well you've learned to use the speed and maneuverability of smaller craft. Consult your maps and set course now. You heard the Admiral, Mr. Onyx. Let's get out there and be the first to hit him! Aye, sir! Bringing the engines to full power! Setting course. I setting course.
castle spotted, sir! Changing heading now! There are the frigates from the 32nd now. Students, attack! Try to get as many torpedo strikes as you can in two minutes. Aye, ma'am. Changing heading now. Job, students. Now reform and escort the target group to the southern edge of Clark's Nebula. Speed, Captain. Helmsman, approaching Nebula. Should you get ahead of the group, wait at the Nebula for the other ships to join you. Right then, welcome to Clark's Nebula. Red flag ships head around the Nebula's west edge. Blue flag ships head along the eastern edge. When you meet again at the northern tip of the Nebula, you will engage the other team in battle. May the best crews win. Spotted! Look, Mr. Onyx! Orcus Galacticus! Spotting them is supposed to bring good luck! I wouldn't know, sir, but they are certainly magnificent.
Okay, setting course. Red and blue teams engage. And remember, when a flag turns black, it means that ship is considered destroyed and all its systems will deactivate until the end of the battle. Congratulations, winners! A fine battle, well fought by all. And I hope those of you unfortunate to be black flagged have learned a valuable lesson or two. Now then, while our friends from the 32nd Strike Flotilla return to Crescentia, the rest of us will continue with the remaining exercises. Students, form up behind me and follow my course. Sir. 